Good morning, buenos dias, bonjour, buongiorno, annyeonghaseyo. Welcome back to my vlog. It's a bit of an oxymoron what I'm about to tell you, but welcome to the chronically ill life with an invisible illness. These past couple of days I've been feeling oh, tired, fatigued, unmotivated, just general blahness. And I realized as I tell you this, that I probably should have made a bigger effort to record the past couple of days to show you what I'm telling you, but there's the oxymoron. The, the vlog is to show you that part, but at the same time, I don't have the energy or motivation to show you that part. And I gotta find a way to work around this to be able to, to reveal the invisible side. It's not easy though. Uh, I, I really do my best to be perky, happy, uh, energetic, uh, despite the symptoms and, and everything else I struggle with. But you can even tell right now in my tone and the way I'm expressing myself that I am making an effort and I'm still coming across kind of <clears throat> So allow me to catch you up on the past couple of days while I get ready. And just to show you how bad this fatigue, lack of motivation was, you know that Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday is Hair Max Comb Day. Today's Wednesday and I'm gonna do it. I mean, I taught my four o'clock kid, my five o'clock adult gave her slot to her other kid who needed help with math. And then when it was time for me to continue doing all the things I do at home, it was just a no-go. My husband made dinner, he baked some goodies, I'll show you later. He did the dishes and I was just, I edited a little bit of my vlog and that was it. I really cannot put into words what it is that I feel, but at least he understands those days. As for the past couple of days, I've been just doing very minimal stuff. I was very proud of the Intivio Infusion video that I did. If you haven't checked it out, I'm gonna link it above. And of course, it's linked in the playlist below where I have more videos of my life with Colonel and as a military spouse. My students, however, are up to date on their things. I mean, that never changes. Again, because somebody else depends on me, then I don't fail at what I have to do there. Now I gotta do this for 11 minutes. If you haven't seen it before, but I won't do the entire 11 minutes with you. Today I want to take advantage of the fact that my husband is home and he goes into work at 1 p.m. so that I can show you what it's like for me to make some phone calls to my providers because right now I got my test results back for the hormones. You know that I have elevated testosterone which contributes to hair loss and the doctor hasn't called me back to give me my prescription and that was last Thursday. So it's been almost a week and I want to get started on what's going to heal me. However, because it's a new medication and apparently it does contribute to weight loss, I have to call my primary and my gastroenterologist and ask them, is it okay for me to take this? Do I need to alter any other medications while I take this? So I'm gonna take my phone to record, I'm gonna take his phone to make the phone calls and hopefully I can show you what that process is like. That's another part of invisible illness people don't see because it doesn't even have to do with my illness directly with my body or anything. It's actually time spent trying to find my providers and, and demand that I get the right treatment, the right testing, this, that, and the other. Gonna finish the few minutes I have left with this comb, do my makeup, and then I gotta go have some breakfast. Surprise, surprise, there's a change of plans. Uh, let me show you here. Well, I put the screen away because my laptop was overheating, but I have my video for May 5th uploading. Well, actually, it's still converting, and then I'm going to upload to YouTube. Then when my husband comes back, I'll do the whole phone call thing to my providers, even though it's almost 3 p.m., and I think some of the offices close at 4, so if he's not back by then, uh, it's today's Wednesday. I guess I'll show you tomorrow because I really want to be able to show you that process. As I mentioned before, I have my four o'clock kid as always. Now, I don't know if my five o'clock is gonna be an adult or a child. I guess I'll find out when I see them, but as promised, here comes my dog. I wanted to show you what my husband made last night. I was actually going to bake Madeline's, but he beat me to the oven and he made merengue. I don't know if you know what this is. I know it doesn't have the typical shape or even color of merengues that you see in stores. Store-bought items have preservatives and they're machine-made and there's there so many differences in the content of the product that you're gonna get something completely different. My friend was telling me that she wanted me to make more Madeleines because I got her so hooked on them she was going to Starbucks to get Madeleines and they're not the same. So this is a, the homemade version of his merengue and we also don't have 
of the pastry bag to give it those nice lines and shapes. So just watch how he made them and you'll see why they look like little dollops. It tastes like merengue, a little bit like cake. I don't know how he managed that, but see they're very light. Now let me show you the other thing he made. The merengues were actually, uh, let's call it a bonus from the leftover ingredients that he had from what he really made, which was homemade tiramisu. I don't want to pull it out of the fridge because I don't want to move it or have something happen to it and then he blamed me for it. But what he was really making yesterday was tiramisu and because it uses egg yolks, he had extra egg whites that he didn't want to just throw away into the trash and he made merengues. I'm looking at my doggies who seem to be very bored. Quieren ir afuera? Yep. Yeah, let's go spend some time outside. I'm back in the office because my video finished uh, converting or exporting and now I'm going to upload it to YouTube but I don't think I'll be able to upload the whole thing before I have to go. I have about 15 minutes. My husband's been helping me look for some paints that we know we have. <laughs> Luna's helping too. She's helping to look around. <laughs> no, it's not very cute. Thank you. All right, I'm heading out a little later than I usually do. My class is from four to five and five to six, but I was chatting with the mom. The mom's a friend of mine, so with this whole quarantine thing and social distancing, it's kind of nice to spend at least 15, 30 minutes talking to someone else who's not my husband. Not that I have something against my husband. Love him, can talk to him for hours on end. It's just, you know, different conversations and obviously a different dynamic, different energies. It's good for the soul to have a little variety. I haven't even put my stuff down but I had to show you. I found my husband doing this. He's setting up a perimeter around our vegetable garden because as you can see, the lettuce is gone. We have um, not this one over here. Bueno, did Luna eat any of it? Not today. Not today, but she did. Mm -hmm. She did contribute to the binging. Lali. You can even see her paw prints in there. So we'll see if this works. Well, as my mother used to say, I am pooped, kaput, and no good. <laughs> I'm very tired, but at least I have my 11 o'clock class planned already. The printables are already, the worksheets are on the printer. I just have to grab them and I'm done. Oh, but thanks to you, because you guys are my accountability partners, this is the only reason I'm actually forcing myself to do a little bit of Korean before bed. Let's just get straight to it so we can go to sleep. Let's review our vowels. We have a, ya, a, ya, o, yo, u, you. Then we have our favorite, u, and e. Then we learned some new vowels recently. These are first derived, second derived, and other. All with 
E to make E, A, I'm writing too high, <laughs> with E to make E. Then we add another and we have Y and Y. That's it for our vowels, at least for now. Today we're gonna look at something super cool, which is the consonants. And I say they're super cool because they're so different from what we know in English, Spanish, French, Italian, German. And here they use a symbol to represent the shape of the mouth. Look how logical this is. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now doesn't that just look like geometry to you? But when you look at it in the in terms of the mouth, it makes total sense. This is gonna be your mmm sound, mmm, as in the letter N, and the whole point of it is like your tongue is coming forward. Follow me, stay with me. This is gonna be your g sound or your G, your hard G, g, and this is basically your throat that is going to sound. You're going to make a sound. So, g. Here, you're gonna close your mouth and then make a sound. So you see, it's all closed up. You're going, mmm. This is your M sound, mmm. This represents your teeth. Now, <laughs> I can't explain how it represents the teeth, but basically, you're going to be making the Sound. And finally, you have your throat sound. It's going to be ng. The best way I can explain this is if you know Spanish, then you know the word pan for bread. You don't really say pan, you say pan. You see how your N is not really at the top of your the roof of your mouth? It's not pan, it's pan back here. So this is ng, same way. For my linguistics and phonetics people out there, this is your alveolar, velar, labial, dental, and glottal sound. That'll make sense to you if you know linguistics or phonetics. But for everybody else, just look at the shape of the mouth. Now, the same way that we have letters in our alphabet that have their own name versus their own sound, I'll give you an example. This is the letter B, and it makes the B sound. So we have a name and you have a sound. These letters also have their own names and their own sounds. So this is called nian, and rightly so, it makes the n sound, nian. This is giuk, rightly so, it's the g sound, giuk. Miam, and we know what sound this makes, m. Giot making the S sound, and it's kind of like an S, but kind of like a lispy S, if you want to say it that way. Shiot, and this is Iung. Doesn't really begin with the sound that it makes, but it does end with it, so this is Iung. Now let's look at my favorite word for learning these consonants and vowels. Okay, before you judge, remember, I don't really know how to write in Korean. This is the best I can do for now. Just a little disclaimer. Let's find our vowels first. I'm gonna give you a second so you can find them before I circle them. A, yo, a, e, yo. Okay, now that we know some consonants, let's include them. A, n, like a double N. Anio. This is your ng sound. Anyong. We haven't seen this one yet, but this is a h. We'll look at that one next time. Here's your siot. Se. Yo. So you already know this one is your h sound. Okay. Let's read it again. Anyong. Ha, se, yo. Anyong se yo. How do you feel about being able to read that now? I'm telling you, I for one was super excited that I could understand it. And this is why I'm telling you, once you know what sounds each letter makes, you can read pretty much anything that's out there, even if you don't know what it says. Here we have another one. Let's find our vowels. Here we have O, A, 
U, E, and A. Now don't worry about the consonants that we haven't learned yet. These, we're gonna come later. We already learned this one. This is your throat making a sound, okay? So this is your G. We already learned that your mouth closed to making a sound is going to make the M mm sound. Here's your X. It's gonna be your S sound. It's gonna be your N sound. And then the ones I already told you, B and D. So we have K, O, Go, Ma, S, Ni, Da. Go, Mapsabnida, which is thank you. Go, Mapsabnida. All right, as always, please let me know if this was well explained, you followed okay, it was well understood, if you want it slower, more broken down, different colors, if I'm writing the right size for you to see, your feedback is critical. Now that we've done the last thing for today, I'm gonna to say my good nights. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, for your support, for your comments, for your feedback, your ideas, for sharing. I've been getting new messages from people in support groups about Crohn's and Tibio, so I'm definitely thrilled to uh, actually be accomplishing the purpose of my vlog. And uh, I have been getting a few thumbs down out there, but hey, it's not terrible. It just means I have to do better better. And hey, what is life if not an opportunity to grow and improve yourself? I'll see you all tomorrow. Hope you get some nice peaceful rest tonight and are ready to take on the next day. See ya!